Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. This is our second SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Uh, we talk about some basic features in SOLIDWORKS in our last tutorial. Now we would like to talk about uh, relation between entities in this tutorial. So let us start by file, open a new, and here is a part. So what we get here. Uh, one thing I would like to explain about to, uh, SOLIDWORKS is if you are in 2D sketch, which is this option here, you just click here, you can see you have either a sketch or you have 3D sketch. Uh, SOLIDWORKS as a default defines three planes, front, top and right. And uh, if you go here and you just click here, you can see these are the three planes we have here. So we have three planes we can deal with. Either we are in front, we are in top, or we are right. Uh, you can also simply click on any of these planes and uh, you can select them. When you are on top of any planes then right away uh, four options comes on top here. This one and maybe I magnify a little bit here. Uh, here. This one actually maybe I'll go back here and this option here. Okay, yeah, when you click on here, you get four options. I'll just give here. Either this one is called a sketch, so you want to start a sketch, you want to show, you want to zoom, or you want to actually see a top view of that plane, which is normal too. Uh, just go back here and there we go so if I'm here in the front view the uh, well, front plane I simply here go click on it and then I want to make a sketch as soon as I make a sketch you have to see that in this side here you have these two options I didn't have it before let me just get out from here uh, and get out the sketch here. So I just want to delete this sketch. Okay, so in the corner it looks like this. There's nothing there. But if as soon as I press front and a sketch, so you have this option here. So as soon as you are in a sketch, then you don't have any feature, you cannot do anything. So feature means, for example, you want to extrude, you want to cut, you want to loft, you want to sweep. You cannot do that because you are in the sketch mode. If you want to uh, do a, any of these features, you have to have a sketch and then you have to get out from the sketch mode and then you can uh, do those features. So this is a part that's very important. Sometimes students they don't know why they don't get it. So you have to look at here, right there. If you are in this and looks like this, you are in a sketch mode. So you can only sketch. So you can just click it and you go back and you have all the features. So again, front, I go here to sketch. And uh, I could be like a, this. If I want to be, again, uh, normal into it, you can also press a space bar. And it comes here, you can say normal too. Uh, let me just sketch something basic. And I would like to show you some relation here. It's very important actually. In SOLIDWORKS. First I want to uh, sketch a circle. So I start from here, a circle. Uh, if you want to give the dimension to the circle, you click on S key and here there are several options here. I use this feature here which is a smart dimension. All I want to do, I click on my uh, circle. I can be inside and I can go outside here let's just put outside click on it here and you can see the dimension I'll make it 50 and of course uh, since we are here you can add more into it too for example you can have some symbols here you can add as many as symbols you want here and as you adding the symbols maybe I hear again uh, magnify as you add the symbols here you can see uh, you have options here too so these are the depth for example the diameter and so on if you don't want them 
so simply go and you just delete them and you will have none here so you can maybe even delete it so go here click on it and you can have the value on it okay so uh, let's just do one more time here go here and I give it 50 that's good uh, next thing I want to do I want to make a line here I start my line from the center and I put it up to here so this is the line if you want to get out from the line just simply press escape now the line is stopped now of course whenever you uh, plot something if it looks blue which is now both of them are blue it means they are not 100% defined obviously I have a circle here the diameter is 50 but of course I can move it anywhere I want you know I can put it anywhere I want here so therefore I have to pinpoint the center which is this point here as soon as I press on it you have a fix here when I fix it then this become uh, black it means the center and the diameter of the circle is defined therefore the circle is well defined for this one of course the center is defined but because the length is not defined I can put it anywhere now let's just uh, create a relation between these uh, two between the line and the circle I click on line I hold control and I click on the circle as well and I can get several options here so I mean in this case two I can put tangent if I press tangent of course it's not going to work because this never can be tangent to each others uh, the other one is a fixed so of course in this particular case there are only two possible scenarios one of them is not possible uh, anyway because it's not tangent and now let's just click on this point and click on the circle and now because I select a point and a circle there are an option here is called coincident if I want to coincident this circle and the point or the point and the circle then what's going to happen is uh, this point is going to be within uh, the circle I can move it but because there are two ends of them are pinpointed uh, I cannot change the length of it and as soon as you see that here you have this option here maybe I just magnify it a little bit and as you can see that green uh, square it shows that this circle and that point or the line are uh, coincident so let me just click on this and I delete it I can change it here now again however if this was my intention I could have actually let me just delete this uh, I could have done it from the beginning I could have select here and right go to here you see when I get close to it it already shows me the same thing it shows me here that they are already coincident and I can just click it here and that already the relation has been made so you can see this line this point is coincident let's make another line here from this point to here or maybe here okay that's another point now if I want to uh, define this length S I put it here I put it maybe 100 and this is the length of the line so the length of the line is constant but look at that I can move this because the length is constant one end is constant and as a result this can move now but you can see that the motion is in one line is in this line here so let's just click here and click on this to do two points and I want to make these two points here horizontal and now no matter how I move it it always these two lines would be horizontal I would like to uh, sketch another uh, shape here so I just make a rectangular shape here like this I can move it uh, sorry, I'm just, uh, so I can move this here wherever I want uh, you see when I bring it here as soon as I become horizontal this dashed line comes 
So I move it again here. Automatically now, it recognizes there's a point here. Now the center of uh, this rectangle and this point are horizontal. Or I bring it down, and now these are horizontal. Let's le leave it here. Now let's. I want to make this one coincident. I magnify it here. So I want to make this and this too. So uh, to be in contact, but I want the contact to be in midpoint. So it means this point should be in the midpoint of this length. I choose midpoint here, and here what I get. Let me move this one here. You see, when I move this one here, now of course because these are connected, if this point moves, it uh, forces the entire uh, rectangle moves. But if I want to make this uh, length constant, so I go here and I press it here, and then I make it maybe 100. So, and this it created a motion like this. So just a kind of cylindrical motion, and it shows how interesting you can actually generate so many relations using uh, the commands here. And by the way, uh, you might say why these are blue. Well, of course, uh, because this position and this position and position of uh, this uh, rectangle shape can be changed. Even if I define this length, I make it 20, a steel uh, is not well defined. It would be well defined only if I fix, for example, this center here. And I, here, now it's fixed. But of course, if I do that here, so I can change anything, I can make any motion because you just created a logic. So this center is constant or fixed. These dimensions are fixed. Therefore, this point is fixed. And since this point is one end of uh, my line, this is fixed. The length of the line is fixed. And these two are in contact. The center is fixed. As a result, the whole thing uh, is fixed. If I want to get back to what I had, so I have to go here and I have to remove this relation here. And I delete it. Now I can still uh, make the same motion here. Now if you want to practice that, the reason I actually uh, brought this is because it gives you a kind of heads up of how you can create this relation. These relations are extremely important later on when you want to have uh, an advanced drawing so you have to understand how to use these relations for example if you uh, want you can maybe create a little more uh, advanced kind of relation here as I did here no, not this one uh, this one here and you see I made this and let me just go here and remove the dimensions here okay uh, so, um, what happens? Uh, okay, now I have to go here. Uh, this one, this one. So now, what I have here is a setup here, and I can see I can change this so easily. So I have kind of a slot here. I have uh, a circle that is in contact, a tangent with these two lines. I have two lines, I have a rectangle, then I have uh, a line, and I have this shape. It is almost like a spring, which is tangent to this circle. And as I am changing this, so you can see the spring is going to be, or uh, perhaps the elastic band, it could be retracted or uh, extended. So there are several relations I've defined here. I suggest you maybe you try to uh, generate the same, uh, perhaps, a drawing. And you can see by doing it correctly, by having all these uh, relations uh, set up correctly to make it. And here what I get. So again, this is uh, this kind of shape here. This is kind of a straight slot. And then you have a circle. You have two lines. You have a rectangle. You have a line. And you have these uh, arc here. Actually, this guy here. And you have the three point arc slot or the certain point arc slot can use any of them. So this helps you just do that for your uh for your practice and if you get to the right uh setup here it means that you almost master creating these relations. 
and this uh, will conclude our second tutorial thank you very much